Hey everyone, so I want to make this video for you guys in this about this recent swing trade that I took on Max R Technologies Incorporated. The ticker is MAXR. So I'm going to walk through how I found the stock and why I took this long setup and uh, break it down for you guys. So I think I mentioned in a previous video when I analyzed the company STZ. How I found that stock is just using Finviz, using a screener here, using a relative volume scan, looking for stocks that have increasing volume above the, what the average is, and that they're also in an uptrend, and that the price is moving up. Because that's the main trades that I look for, bullish swing trades. And I did find this stock, MXAR, around, I would say around, um, it, I didn't actually enter the trade for like a couple of weeks, like a week or two. So what I, once I found this stock, I liked the way it looked. It looked like it was kind of bottoming a little bit. Um, I usually look at the weekly chart first and saw we were in this downtrend here. So I'm like, okay, if we break this downtrend, I'll start it will start intriguing me, catching my interest for a potential pop to the upside. So going back to the daily time frame, there's a nice trend line here. You have one, two, three, four, five rejections. So it finally right here around the end of March, beginning of April popped up and that's when I started paying attention to it. And you can see that the $5 area was pretty strong resistance. There's a nice volume here, then it was selling right after that April, on April 9th. So what I was looking for was a poke above. So this is the second time. One time, one failure here, second failure here, third failure. I'm thinking that there's going to be, uh, a fa uh, it's gonna break through eventually, especially when we made a higher low right here from this low. And that's what I was looking for on this bullish swing trade and that we we're break, gonna break through this 50 day SMA and closing above the nine day EMA too was something I was looking for. So I think it was on this day, uh, I think this day right here, ha had a decent volume increasing to the upside, especially on this day. I, I really liked the volume. It was decreasing on this sell off on these, these black candles or red depending on the chart that you have. And then the next day we held this, made that higher low on the uptrend, held, held a nice little uptrend after breaking this major downtrend. We had some volume come in and then it went back and tested the $5 area again. And we did reject it here, but this is, this day is where I got in. I think it was this day right here. I got in at 485 and I initially put my stop below the low of the previous low. And just to give it some room in case there's a gap down or something. But then this next day, or you can see here, there's actually a tweezer top. That means these two highs of the candles are the same. So what I actually wanted to do too, once I was already in this trade, which I believe was this day right here, because I was getting in on the, the retest of the high here. And on this day, we actually pushed above and broke that tweezer top right here. So I actually had a plan to, it's right here, add on the break of the tweezer top at 509. So if we break here, I have a limit buy. So I pretty much had another limit buy at, let me clone that, at break above the 509, then buy, buy on a pullback at the 05 area. So, and then I actually moved my stop up because I'm still risking $200 on this trade. I moved it up to 420, I believe. Let me see what I have here, how I did that. Yeah, to 420. So now the stop is below all these bullish candles and below the, low, the uptrend. I actually could have moved it up higher even to like right up to 440 or something below this uptrend where we had that higher low, but I was just being a little bit more conservative. So my cost basis ended up being about $4 and 94 cents. So as soon as we, I saw this increasing volume here and we finally 
broke above that area, the 509, and held on decent volume coming in. And it so happened that the next day, there was some news that came out. Doesn't really matter if it's news based or not, but it actually worked in the favor of this trade. Um, that uh, I think Maxar was actually awarded some kind of government contract to fund some of their some of their work that they were doing. So that caused a surge in volume, and ended up getting out on this day at the near the top for about 30% gain, and it was a pretty decent trade, and just demonstrated that paying attention to the volume and the price action, noticing that we had a tweezer top over here, kind of consolidating. We didn't really have any significant selling. Couldn't couldn't break above that 509. I think the tweezer top was here. Yeah, couldn't break above that five dollar area, 509. And paying attention to this volume here, it started decreasing on this little on the selling. And then the de this is where the trade really got my attention was the volume that came in here on the higher low, on a green candle. And ni nice three white soldiers in a row, which is just the open and the close is higher. So we're gapping up and testing the previous day and keep keep going higher. And uh, the rejection here is where I got in and added more because we were testing the 50-day SMA the first time, and we closed above it here. Nice gap up, and then she took off from there. So it was a really good trade. Wanted to break it down for you guys, and I actually posted this in my room on stock twits, and I'll leave a, a link below to join that room where I'm going to post my swing trades for anyone to join and, and you know participate. Obviously, there's a disclaimer that uh, you know it's trading is risky, blah, blah, blah. Don't trade with capital that you not you're not willing to lose. You know I'm I'm not at fault if if you lose money or whatever. You know typical stuff. But um, it'd be really cool if you guys want to join join that stock Twitch room. I'll drop a link below. It'll be really cool to meet some of you guys if you want to trade with me, and we'll we'll find more trades like this. I didn't use options on this trade because there there wasn't much liquidity, so I had to use shares. But it was a decent trade. Can't be unhappy with a 30% gain. It was only a couple days, you know. So it does look like on earnings that MaxR is probably going to go higher if it clears that $7 area, probably up to the $8 area and beyond. But I uh, already took the profit. Pretty stoked on it. If you guys want to receive an update on any future videos that I make, on swing trades that I take, after the fact, unfortunately, but if you join my stock trading room on StockTwits, I'll post my swing trades there and also my newsletter. I post ideas as well. You can join on my website or you can just drop a comment here if you want me to add you to the, the email list. But uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, by clicking that link, uh, clicking the logo that pops up right now. And uh, looking forward to sharing more videos with you guys on the swing trades that I take. So I hope uh, you guys learned something from this and I will be chatting with you all soon. Take care. Bye.